This is where the show Wednesday was filmed. And today I'm going to be visiting every single film location because I want to get onto the show. And the way I'm going to do that is by DMing the cast. If there's anyone who knows how to get onto the show, it's people who are on the show. <laughs> now you would think the chances of a celebrity responding are zero, but I actually do get to meet someone from the show. More on that later in the video, but for now, let's explore this castle. This is the actual castle from the show. They made it way cooler on, in the show and they'd be affected, but still, it's the actual castle. Jen, if you're watching this, I apologize. This is literally strictly just for the video. Anyway, Tuesday Adams is cooler. Call me Tuesday Adams. Being here gives me a newfound motivation that I can do this. If I can do this, a little kid from the streets of Havana, Cuba, well then anyone can do it. All right, off to the next location. This is the place where the students were taking classes at the Nevermore Academy. The greenhouse where Miss Thornhill, which was the villain, spoiler alert, was teaching Wednesday Adams. They're not here anymore. All right, if this is locked, I'm gonna lose it. Bro, this is where the show was shot. Yeah, pretty this cool. is pretty cool. And while I'm here, I might as well DM some of the cast because they're the only ones that can give me advice on how to get onto the show. Like I've said before, I'm just a kid from Cuba. I come from nothing. If I get into the biggest show in the world, I can prove that anyone can do it. Let's see if any of them get back to me. On to the next location. You've seen the show, right? Me? Um, yeah, it's the one with the girl? Yeah, he, the... he didn't see the show. Yeah. Alright, this is Mihai. You're from Romania, right? Yeah, yeah, All right. I've only been here once before, so I'm not sure how useful I'm gonna be. Whose idea was it to bring this guy <laughs> on? <laughs> oh, dude, that's it! And as I was about to enter location number three, someone from the show actually read my message. Being left on red is like a horrible feeling, but I feel great right now because it means that one of the people from the show knows that I exist, which is huge. And I have a feeling that they're going to get back to me. But for now, let's explore location number three. In the show, this was a high school, but it's actually a university. Fun fact, bro. This is so cool to know that they shot here. I'm getting the feeling of what it's like to be on the show without being on the show. We're about to go into that hallway right now. The hallway is real. The red lockers were put in. Fun fact. I was trying to be serious. <laughs> <laughs> I might be slightly desperate to get this job, but you know what that desperation comes with? Opportunity. Because two days later, this would happen. Remember that cast member from the show who left me on scene? They started to follow me. The on Netflix followed me on Instagram, which is beyond super, it's super cool. I'm, I'm geeky out about it. I sent an email to his management saying that I'll be down to meet up with him, and now I have his number. Oh, seriously? Yeah, they gave me his number. I'm about to call. This call can very much determine my fate whether I get onto this show or not. So I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. It's the same amount of stress that I've been feeling the last couple months where I've been trying to get onto this show. And something that's helped me stay on track and be mentally clear has been today's video sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy accessible for everyone, meaning it's affordable for anyone. And you could do it from the comfort of your own home. Hello? Hello? Hey, how's it going? Am I speaking with yeah. They're able to match you up with someone perfectly with just a few questions. Where are you situated? Tab, here, I'll, I can just give you the address. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. The link's in the description. And when you use my link, you'll get 10% off your first month. Uh, I think I'll have five later on, like after five. After yeah. five. Okay, great. Yeah, that, yeah. that could work for us. If you're going through any of those periods in life right now where you may be feeling a little bit down or you're just struggling, consider talking to someone and getting professional help because it actually has helped me a lot. So don't wait around. Join the 2 million plus users who have taken charge of their mental health. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. Love what you guys do. And for now, let's see if this actor ends up meeting up with me. Awesome. I'm excited to meet you. No problem. <laughs> All right. See ya. What the f*** just happened? What the f***? What just happened, bro? That's crazy. <laughs> what the <f> <laughs> <laughs> The actor would soon text us saying that he wanted to meet up in a very familiar place from the show. I'm just a fool And I can't get over you So let me How things things Bro, are you serious? So we just arrived at the set, but the actor's still not here. He's running a little bit late, he said. So in the meantime, we're gonna explore some of the sets of the show. He should be here any time though. He should be here soon. So all of this was fake? Disappointed. <laughs> wow, bro, this is the exact coffee shop, bro. Yeah. So she does like coffee. 
No, bro, that, that's a character. Oh. I think so, right? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're trying to get into season two of the show. What do you think our, our chances are? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we were having a great time on the sets, our actor was still not here. And then I started getting a little bit worried. Was he gonna show up? Was he gonna ghost us? I wasn't sure. And that would leave me with only one option. DM every single person from the cast. Gomez Adams. How's it going, sir? Would you like to meet up? And then we have Pugsley Adams. I hope everything's good. That a meet up? Mortika Adams. Tyler Larissa Ireland. Cornhill. Indeed. And lastly. No. Jenna yeah, Ortega. Don't ask her for coffee this time. Yeah. Would you like to grab a cup of coffee by any chance? Okay. Right. I know. Right. Hey Jenna. I'm in Romania. <sighs> No. It took me like 30 minutes to figure out what I was gonna say to Jenna and then it took me like another 30 to type it out. Jenna, if you're watching this, I uh, still don't know what to say. I sent it. Well, it was an essay. <laughs> yeah, it might have been an essay, but the most important thing was that it came from the heart. Yeah, I'm delusional. But there is a benefit to that, because the original actor who DM'd me in the beginning finally got back to us, which was great because we were extremely desperate. Bye. Thank you. Bye. This was the moment of truth. After trying countless things to get onto the show Wednesday, I was gonna finally know my fate, because an actor of this level could potentially give me the secret to getting onto the show. Was I gonna get onto the biggest show in the world? We're about to find out. What's up, man? Welcome to Romania. <laughs> What's up, man? Meet Victor, aka Thane. That's right. The one person who answered our DM and gave us their time was Thane. Arguably one of the most fan loved characters in the entire show. And it's kind of crazy because this was my first time ever actually seeing his face. I've been used to his hand this entire time. Uh, I, I think they found me on YouTube. Well, oh, really? the, yeah. Tim Burton wanted this specifically to use a Maxter for the hand. So somebody just called me in a random day. I didn't sign up for this. I swear. Oh, you didn't? No. Uh, you gave me so much hope. But yeah, 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 everything changed for me after that. I wasn't a rich person, even, not even a mediocre one. I lived in a kind of poor family. If you chase a dream so hard, you get attached to it and it's not good. You just have to be happy to do whatever you can. Sometimes life gives you what you need to pursue your direct. Not your dream, your direct. I bought your gift. <laughs> no way. This is the real deal here, I mean, you know? Thank you so much. I feel so bad. I no came problem. here like, oh, yeah, Thank you so much. This is so cool. We spent hours talking to Victor. And it was so fun. He showed us around. We met some of his friends. It was super cool. And his story is so similar to mine. We both come from a small country. We weren't born rich. And no acting experience whatsoever. So it definitely inspired me. Because there are times where I've looked at this goal of trying to get onto the biggest show in the world. And I think to myself, well, I'm bad Crazy. But then there are times like this. Your story is super cool. I wasn't expecting to hear that. Like, I thought you were I'm just... a normal human being and I'm talking not an idiot. <laughs> this goes for all your subscribers. If you pursue your dream, pay attention to everything that happens around you, you'll see the opportunity and you'll take it to it like he did when he got to Jenna. <laughs> appreciate you, man, so much. Thank you so much. Victor is literally the nicest person in the world. And just like he said, sometimes opportunities come to you because as this entire series has been happening, I've been asking people left and right if they know someone at Netflix. And well, I would say this is kind of a big moment right now. I have a friend who knows about the series and he got me connected to someone who works at Netflix. So I'm about to call them. Everything that has been happening and everything we've done together has led up to this moment. <sighs> I'm so nervous. Here goes nothing. Hello? Hi, is this- 